Hello everyone. Welcome to another interesting math learning time with Miss Blessing. In this video, we are going to be revising a lot of math concepts and we are going to be starting with comparing four digit numbers. Now on your whiteboard or on the paper, whatever you have with you as a writing material, write down the less than, greater than and equal to sign. Pause the video and have a go. Welcome back. Did you write these? If you did, then give yourself a big thumbs up because the less than sign is shown by our left hand and the greater than sign is shown by our right hand and the equal to sign is both of them this way. So less than is this sign, greater than is this sign and equals to is this sign. Come along, let's compare four digit numbers using the less than, greater than, and equal to sign. Now, when we compare four digit numbers, we compare the values of each digit starting with the thousands. When you are comparing four digit number, you compare the value of each digit starting with the thousands. If the numbers have the same amount of thousands, then we compare the hundreds. If the numbers have the same amount of hundreds, we compare the tens. If the number have the same amount of tens, we compare the ones. Now let's have a go at these ones here. Let's compare 8,317 and 8,371. As you can see, we have the less than sign here. Why? We started with comparing the 8,000, the thousands place. We see the first number has 8,000, the second number has 8,000. So with this, we don't know which is greater and which is lesser. Now let's compare the hundreds. In the hundreds, the same thing. We have 300 here. We still have 300 here. Now let's compare the tens. In the tens, we have one here and here we have seven. So one is less than seven. That is why we have the less than sign here. I hope this explanation is clear. When you have four digits numbers and you have to compare which is greater and which is less or which is equal, you need to compare the thousands place first, then compare the hundreds, compare the tens, and then compare the ones. One of these is definitely going to show you which is greater and which is less. This is just a summary of what I explained just now. Let's move on. Ordering four digit numbers. To put this number in order from greatest to smallest, she says, I can use my comparing skills. Before she shows you how to do that, can you pause the video and have a go? We need to put this number from the greatest to the smallest. We have four different digit cards here with four different numbers, and we need to order them from the greatest to the smallest. So pause the video and have a go. Welcome back. How did you do? Now remember the rule when comparing and ordering numbers. Comparing the thousands, I can see that 6,730 and 6,128 both have six thousands. 6,730 has 700, which is more than 100 in 6,128. Therefore, 6,730 is the greatest number. When we compare the thousands, both of them have six. When we compare the hundred, this has seven, this has one. So seven is greater than one. So this number is the greatest number. Now, followed by which number? Followed by... Comparing the thousands, I can see that 6,128 has 6,000, whereas the other numbers all have 5,000 at the beginning. So the next number is 6,128. Now, what will be the next number? 5,839, 5,826. When you compare the thousands, both have five. When you compare the hundreds, both have eight. When you compare the tens, this has three and this has two. So which is greater? This, of course. Well done. So this comes next and this comes last. Our number has been ordered accordingly. Use these rules and you would definitely be able to order numbers accordingly. 
Now there are 3,900 tigers, 1,864 pandas, and 7,100 cheetahs in this Dubai Zoo. Let's put them in order from greatest to smallest. Post the video and have a go. This is for you to try. Welcome back. Now let's look at multiples of 25. We have revised ordering number, ordering four digits number. Let's look at multiples of 25. Multiples of 25 are a counting pattern where, in count, where we count in steps of 25 from zero. So what are the multiples of 25? Let's have a look at some of the multiples of 25. 25, what do you think would come next? If you said 50, you are correct. When we count the multiples of 25, it means we are adding 25. We keep adding 25. We are keep counting in 25. So what will be the next? 75, 100, 125. Can you find the next five multiples of 25? Continuing from 125, pause the video and have a go. Welcome back. Let's see if your answers are correct. So from 125, when we add 25, we have 150 and then 175, 200, 225, 250. Well done if you got it all correctly. Now, look at the first 10 multiples of 25. Can you spot any patterns or particular properties that will help you remember then? Look at the first 10 multiples. Can you spot any pattern that will help you remember them? Pause the video and have a go. Welcome back. The ones digit in a multiple of 25 is always zero or a five. As you can see here, we have five, zero, five, zero, five, zero, five, zero, five, zero. So this is the pattern when we count in multiples of 25. The ones digit in a multiple of 25 is always zero or five. The tens digit in a multiple of 25 is always two, five, seven or zero look at the pattern here two five seven zero two five seven zero two five seven zero on and on and on <laughs> okay i hope this is clear now it's your turn to have a go pause the video and have a go fill in the missing multiples what would be the answers pause the video have a go welcome back did you write 200 in the first one did you write 250 in the next one? Now let's proceed to the next row. 75, 100, 125, and then 200. Let's proceed to the last row. 400, 425, 450, 475, and then 500. Well done if you got it all correctly. Now let's look at counting using negative numbers. We have looked at counting in multiples of 25, comparing and ordering numbers to 10,000. Now let's revise counting using negative numbers. Numbers below zero are negative numbers. Now let's count backward from 10 to zero. Is that the lowest number we can count to when we count backward from 10 to zero? Can we count below zero? The numbers below zero are called negative numbers. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Now, when you begin to see numbers below zero, all these are negative numbers. Why are they negative numbers? Can you count from 10 to minus 10? I bet you can. Post the video and have a go. Now, the frogs have lost some species, some pieces of their numbers. Which numbers are missing? Did you answer the question, why are these numbers negative number? They are negative number because they are less than zero. And how do we recognize negative number? The minus sign is always in front of them. That way we know they are negative numbers. Now look at the number line, which numbers are missing? Okay, starting from here, I see eight is missing. And right after zero, I think minus one is missing. Did you think of those? 
Well done. Can you find the missing numbers on the next number line? Pause the video and have a go. Welcome back. Did you feel it all correctly like this? Now let's try another one. Pause the video and have a go. Welcome back. Did you feel it correctly this way? Very well done to you. Good job. Now, let's revise adding and subtracting ones, tens, hundreds, and one thousand. Look at the number charts below, the place value grid below. What number is being represented here? Pause the video and have a go. We have 2,700, zero tens, and one ones. What is the number? The number is 2,701. How do we write it in words? 2,701. Add eight tens to the number. What will it be when we add eight tens? It's going to be 2,781. Add 3,000 to the number. We add 3,000 over here, and that will be 5,701. Add four tens to the number. When we add four here, it's going to be 2,741. Add nine ones to the number. When we add nine here, we are going to make an exchange because we are going to have 10. So we're going to exchange the 10 ones for one tens. So our answer is going to be 2,710. I hope this is clear. Now, look at the bar model below. What number is missing? Remember, we are revising now, adding and subtracting ones tens, hundreds, and thousands. So we have 9,827, and below it, we have 9,822. What number is missing? Pause the video and have a go. Welcome back. How do we find this number? We are going to subtract the number below from the number above because the number below is less than the number above. And when we subtract, what do we have? We have five so the missing number is five now let's add two digit numbers to add two four digit numbers with no s change using your place value grid solve the calculation 3308 plus 4101 how do we solve the calculation first we need to arrange the numbers in their right place value and when we do that, we have 3,308. There is nothing here because there is zero one. Now let's place the next number on the place value grid. We have 4,100 and see nothing and one. Now, how do we add the number together? When we add, we're going to add the ones first. And when we count all together, we have three, six, seven, eight, nine. Then the tens, there is nothing here, so it remains zero. Then the hundreds, one, two, three, four. And then the thousands, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that is how we arrived at 7,409. Hope this is clear. Now I want you to have a go at this. Add two four digit numbers, no S change. Match the calculations to their answer. Pause the video and have a go. Welcome back. How did you get along? Let's see if your answers were correct. So when we add 8,954 to 1,023, our answer is going to be 9,977. Then when we add 7,220 to 1,548, our answer would be 8,768. Finally, when we add 3,355 plus 5,521, we're going to have 8,876. Thumbs up if you got it all correctly. Well done. Well done. I hope you learned something from today's lesson. I bet you did, because we'll revise several concepts today, comparing and ordering four digit numbers, counting in multiples of 25, counting using negative numbers, adding ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. We revised four or five different concepts in this video. So please watch the video again. 
remember practice makes perfect the more you practice the more you get good at it and this is me saying bye for now i will see you in the next revision video don't forget to like subscribe and share for more videos bye see you in the next one